Today marks the National Day of Prayer. It's a day that encourages Americans to pray for our country, its people, and its leaders. The tradition of a National Day of Prayer dates to 1775, when the Second Continental Congress set aside a day for Americans to pray to be ever under the care and protection of a kind providence as they began the struggle for independence. In 1952, Congress and President Truman established a National Day of Prayer as a yearly event. And President Reagan designated the first Thursday in May forevermore. But our devout Catholic commander in chief raised some eyebrows today by not mentioning the word God during his National Day of Prayer proclamation. The first president ever to do so. We have the perfect guest to discuss the issue. Joining me now, Reverend Franklin Graham. Before we get to the significance of the day, I saw you put out a Facebook post just moments ago reacting to the reality that Joe Biden didn't even mention God. How can you do that on the National Day of Prayer? Uh, you know, I don't know, and I'm not sure that uh, he even knows. Uh, it's probably a staff person that wrote it and Let's maybe hope. not even ran it by him. I don't, because uh, I don't think uh, Joe Biden would have approved that one. Uh, this is the National Day of Prayer. Of course, we, we need to call on God, uh, not just some generic gods or some power in the air, but on God himself, the creator, who made and created this earth and who sent his son, Jesus Christ, from heaven to this earth to save mankind from sin by dying on a cross. And God raised him to life. And we, there's no one else to pray to except to God. And for Joe Biden to miss that, I just think maybe it was a staffer that did that and he wasn't even aware. So I, I would like to give the benefit of the doubt uh, to President Biden. <laughs> Very graceful uh, from you to do so. Let's hope indeed that is correct. Um, I'm on the wrong camera. Now I'm in the right one. Uh, Reverend, real quick, uh, the the idea of prayer, the power of prayer, uh, you know, some people dismiss it. Church attendance is down. Uh, what what would you say to people who doubt the power of prayer? Well, first of all, church attendance is down because churches have been closed uh, by uh, the president, and by different governor, governors across this country. Uh, so, yes, church attendance is down when your church is closed. Uh, but I, we found the churches that are closed, uh, the ones that were online actually had more people watching online and giving went up. Hmm. So uh, I think uh, we, we just need to look at uh, maybe uh, this next year and see where we are. But the power of prayer, no question, God answers prayer. He hears prayer. He listens to prayer. But we got to approach God in the right way. We have to confess our sins and ask for his forgiveness and uh, not, not go to him with, with dirty hands, so to speak, but with a clean heart and, uh, and then ask him then always to ask that your will be done because God, God wants the best for us. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't want the worst. He wants the best. Absolutely. And so we have to always ask that God, God's will to be done. Reverend, we are a uh, flawed nation like every. We are all sinful human beings uh, in need of God's redemption. Would you be willing to offer up a, a brief word of prayer for us tonight in the program? Absolutely. Father, we pray for our country, pray for the president. And Father, we pray for all the folks there at Fox News. Uh, Father, we thank you for them. And we just pray for Pete and his family. Thank you, Father, that you love us, you care for us, and that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, from heaven to this earth to die for our sins and our place. And Father, it's my prayer that many people put their faith and trust in him. It's Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Franklin, Reverend Graham, Reverend Franklin Graham, thank you so much. The Crusades your father did, Billy Graham. I, I was one in Minneapolis and one in New York City. Helped change my life and shape my life. And I'm grateful for the mission you continue to do today to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. Reverend, thank you so much. Well, thank you. God bless. God thank bless. You.